everyone! I'm so excited to be back with another Doc Martens video and I'm super excited and happy to be filming this because this is the 8053 platform Doc Martens and you guys I have been waiting for these. I've been like stalking their website every single day to check if they have any in stock and they've been sold out everywhere. Every retailer, they're completely sold out on their website. I think the only size they have left is a size 12. So if you're a size 12, you're in luck. Randomly by chance, I was in New York over the holidays and I just happened to be walking by a Doc Martin store. So I thought to myself, why not just go inside, take a look, see what they have. And amazingly enough, they actually had these in stock. Not only did they have these in stock, they actually had it in a few different sizes. So I was able to try a few different on, walk around the store, and really figure out which size would work best for me. But I have a feeling they're gonna come back in stock really soon. So I wanted to make this video um, just so you guys can get your hands on it as soon as it comes back in stock. When they do come back in stock, you don't wanna hesitate to buy them because they are so, so, so cute that you need to get them fast before they sell out again. And of course, I'll leave a link below so you can just keep an eye out for them. And as some of you already know, I own a few different pairs of Doc Martens like the 1461s and the Jaden boots. Every time I buy a new pair, I always film a review to help those of you who aren't sure which styles they should go with. So if you haven't watched those other videos, I'll link that down below as well. So in this video, I'm going to give you my reasons why I think these are the best style and pretty much everything you need to know about the 8053. What size I have, the fit, the quality, where you can get them, pretty much everything you need to know before you buy these. I also want to do another video on how I style these and showing you some different outfit ideas. So subscribe to my channel because you really don't want to miss out on that video. And while you're at it, don't forget to like my video because it really helps with the algorithm. 8053 style looks very similar to the 1461s. Um, they have this low ankle here. They have five eyelet holes for the shoelaces. Um, the leather is like this really nice smooth leather and it makes it really easy to clean. So the reasons why I just had to have these is because I love the platform soles and I also really like the padded collar. The platform bottom is one and a half inches and it just gives me a little bit of a boost. These platform bottoms are really similar to the Jaden Doc Martens, which is a style that I really love as well. I love how it adds just like a few inches to my height and it makes me look a little bit taller. It's honestly so fun to wear because it's so chunky and it's so big. Let me know in the comments below if you prefer the chunkier, thicker bottom or if you prefer the slimmer bottom. Another really exciting thing about the 8053 is the padded collar. I really love this feature because it prevents the leather from digging into your skin. I love the look of the stiff leather. Aesthetically, I think it looks so much better than like a soft canvas material or maybe like a flimsy, softer type of leather. But I have to be honest with you, it's not very comfortable. And as you can see, it's pretty stiff. If it wasn't for the padding around the ankle, the leather would just kind of cut into your skin and rub against your ankles and it would be pretty painful. So I think having this extra cushion is going to make these a lot more comfortable to wear. I have to warn you, when I purchased my first pair of Doc Martens, I remember feeling really strange wearing them because I wasn't used to wearing something so chunky. They're initially going to feel really big and really clunky. You're honestly going to feel like you're wearing clown shoes. But I promise you, once you get used to wearing them, they're going to feel a lot more normal. And you're going to grow to really love how chunky and heavy they are. So compared to the Doc Martens that lace all the way up to your ankles, these are gonna be a lot easier to put on, which I love. Because if you own Doc Martens that lace up at the ankles, you know how much of a pain it is to put on and take off. You can't just easily slide your feet in and slide them out. Every time you put them on, it's like a huge production. You gotta pull up a chair, you have to sit down, you gotta unlace them, then you gotta lace them back up. But these, I can easily slip them on and slip them off. Then tie the laces really quick and done. If 
you're living in an area with a lot of snow, you might want to consider a boot that is higher on the ankles because it's going to keep your feet nice and dry. If you wear these in the snow, obviously the snow is going to get into your shoes and it's going to make your feet wet. One of the reasons why I love Doc Martens versus other boots is they are a very reputable brand. Their boots have been around for such a long time because they are classic. I've owned these pair of boots for 10 years now and I still wear them till this day. I've worn these boots so much, you guys, and I've really put them to the test. I've worn them hiking, I've worn them in the snow in Iceland. Surprisingly, these shoes have survived and I still wear them till this day. Just as a precaution, you want to make sure you wear pretty thick socks with them. And what I mean by thick is wear athletic socks so they protect your ankle. If I wear no-show socks, um, the back of the heel is going to start rubbing at my ankles. So you want to make sure that your socks are going to be higher than your Doc Martens. Another thing about these boots, they are going to be very stiff when you first buy them. There are no movement in the toes here at all. They're going to feel very stiff and also very heavy. So when you're walking in them, they might feel a little strange. You're just like picking up your feet and like moving it like this <laughs> and there's really going to be no bend at the toes. Get a lot, a lot of questions about how I break them in and the secret to breaking them in is patience. <laughs> My biggest advice to you is don't buy them right before you go on a trip thinking you're going to wear them the whole time you're on the trip. I made that mistake once and I was in pain the entire trip and it wasn't even fun. I get a lot of questions on how I break them in and the secret to breaking them in is patience. My biggest advice to you is don't buy them right before you go on a trip thinking you're going to wear them the entire time you're on the trip. So I made that mistake and I was in pain the entire trip and it wasn't even fun. They take time to break in so patience is key. You want to start off by just wearing them around the house. Then you can start wearing them outside to get coffee or run errands. So the point is you wear them for a short amount of time and slowly you want to build up and wear them longer and longer until they no longer hurt. Also, this is a really good tip to remember and you're going to be thanking me for this is bring band-aids with you. If you are nervous about them hurting your feet, bring band-aids as a precaution. Carry a few in your purse, carry a few in your wallet, your car, whatever. Just keep them on you just in case it hurts because you'll need that band-aid um, to work as like a buffer. <laughs> I've seen some really wild tips on how to break these in, such as, you know, putting them in the freezer, using a blow dryer, or even showering with them. But personally, I don't like to use any of these methods because these are so pretty. You don't want to risk the leather being messed up or ruining your shoes. Just be patient and break them in slowly. Doc Martens are pretty easy to buy. You can find them at Urban Outfitters, you know, Journeys, ASOS, Nordstrom's. But this particular style is sold out online in every store except like the size 12. I literally called every Doc Martens store in LA and they were sold out everywhere. And randomly by chance, I was able to find these in New York um, and they had these in my size. I would say just call and check the Doc Martens stores around you. Um, if you don't have a Doc Martens store around you, then just keep checking the site because I have a feeling they're gonna be restocking really soon. The sales manager actually told me they were going to do a restock in January, but I'm not really sure when in January. So you wanna keep your eye on the website. When it comes to size, these actually run true to size. With Doc Martens, I typically would say get a size bigger to make sure they're comfortable. Um, but with these, I would say get the real size because if you get a size too big, your heel is going to slip from the back here when you're walking and it's going to feel really annoying and it's just going to look big. On the Doc Martens site, they only have full sizes. So for example, I'm a six and a half and I got a size six. I tried a size seven and I even walked around the store and my heel was like lifting out of them. So I found that a size six fits me perfect. You can 
and go to the store and try them on. Um, of course, wear a mask, stay safe, but it's gonna be really helpful for you to try them on and just walk around the store for a bit, get a feel for them, and make sure that um, they're not hurting you and your heel is not coming out of the bottom. And if you don't have a store around you and you do decide to buy them online from the Doc Martens website, you are able to return after 30 days and they will charge you like $7 for shipping. I'm so excited to put some really cute outfits together with these Doc Martens and I can't wait to show you in my next video. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on that video. And also don't forget to hit the like button because it really helps with the algorithm. Thank you for watching.